She burns the bridges in my head by lighting up a fire. Bury my old thoughts. A moving background is an element that can give your audience a more pleasant visual experience. You can make it more practical by simply adding a blur effect to it. Or you can add some shadows to separate your image from your background like this. This concept is applicable to any editing software, but let me show you how easy it is to do this utilizing KineMaster. Without any further ado, let's go on there. to do is you want to open KineMaster, you're going to tap on the plus button and you're going to select 16 by 9 if this video is for YouTube. Then you're going to tap on background and you're going to pick any color since you can change it later on to match your brand. For this demonstration I will use a color gray and I will make it one minute long. So let's pretend that this is one minute, you tap on OK. Next you're going to tap on layers, you're going to tap on text. And you're going to type whatever text you want to appear in your background. In my case, I'm going to use the name of my channel, Underwater. Then I'm going to tap OK, make it the same length as my main frame. Then what you're going to do is you want to tap on Font. So highlight your clip, tap on Font, and choose any style that is relevant to your brand or logo. If you don't see anything that you like in here, then you can tap on the uh, KineMaster Asset Store. And you can choose from the abundant library the specific style you are looking for. The next step is to fill up your background with your text. For that, you need to find the exact center of your screen. Luckily for us, KineMaster counts with visual lines to make this process accurate and symmetric. So the next step, you need to turn your text to a 45 degree angle using these little handles over here. And as you can see, this red line that appears on the screen right here, right? They show you that you are in the correct position. So next, you need to find your screen. You need to find the center of your screen following the line. So let's move it to the center. So there you go. I have the vertical line. So once that is complete, you can start duplicating your text. So what you're going to do is you want to tap on the three dots on the left uh, side of your screen over here. And then you can start duplicating uh, your text. So you're going to need about uh, 45 duplicates. So go ahead and do all of that at once. So that way you save yourself some time. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, export it out of KineMaster. So you're going to tap on the export button and you're going to choose the, uh, the resolution and frame rate of your preference. Right after you do that, well, I already did it, so I'm not going to wait for the whole process. After you do that, you go back to your project and then you're going to tap on the main clip. And what you're going to do is you're going to delete it. And don't worry, your project is still there. As long as you don't go out of the, uh, as soon as you don't go out of KineMaster, your project is still there. So tap on media, tap on export, and bring back the project that you just put out of KineMaster. Tap on OK, and what you're gonna do now, so you can give more vibrance to your uh, moving background, is you're gonna tap on the main clip, you're gonna tap on the pin and zoom button, you're gonna unify both clips, and you're gonna zoom in. Now, you're going to hit OK, you're going to tap on the main clip again, you're going to tap on the pin and zoom button, you're going to uh, take them apart by clicking here, and then you're going to tap on the starting position, and you're going to move it to the left. And you're going to do the same thing with the uh, end position, you're going to tap on it, and you're going to move it all the way to the left. You're going to hit OK. So now when you hit play, you have a double movement on your moving background, something pretty much like this. 
So now we are going to do the most important part of your project, which is highlighting your clip. So tap on layer, tap on media, tap on export and bring your clip. Then you're going to tap on cropping. You're going to turn it on and you're going to further, uh, further the edges to 40%. You're going to get out of there. You're going to go to adjustment and you're going to increase the brightness to 100% and you're going to do the same with gain. 100%. You're going to tap OK, tap on your clip, tap on the three dots on the upper left hand corner and duplicate that clip. Then you're going to reverse the process that you just did. Go back to cropping, turn it off, go back to adjustment, bring the brightness down to zero and bring the gain down to zero. Okay, so that's in zero. And you're going to tap OK. And now you have a beautiful highlighted shadow on your uh, clip. So right here it is. There you go. To make it uh, more uh, relevant or to take uh, life of its own, tap on uh, layer, tap on effect, and they go all the way down to basic effect. You're going to tap on, on this blur right here. And then you're going to send it behind your main clip. So you're going to send it backwards, not to the back. And then you're going to make it uh, bigger to fill the entire screen. So there you have it. If you want any special effects in your text, make sure to apply it to the first text right at the beginning. Otherwise, you will have to apply it individually to every duplicate. If you don't have KineMaster, you can get it for free on the Apple App Store and Google Play. The links are in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Activate the notification bell, and I will see you next time underwater.